surviving 24 hours on a French army combat ration. Hi there, I'm Kat from Steps by Kaatje and this is Poofy and welcome back to our channel. We are out for 24 hours and we are gonna survive on a combat ration from the Belgian army. So, yeah, I don't know what's in the box. I only know it's quite heavy. It weighs about one kilo, so I wouldn't want to carry that on a backpack trip, but I'm cycling so I can handle this weight. So I'm really curious what in there. I brought this, I brought water, I brought a little knife. Don't know if I need a spoon. They told me to bring a little container to boil water in. And to be sure, I did bring an extra lighter, but all the rest should be in here. So I'm really curious. Let's open it up. Well, if I get it right, it's not a Belgian army meal, it's a French army meal. Okay, all right. Let me see, what do we have? We have biscuits. This is some muesli for tomorrow morning. Soup. Something to put in my drink. jelly, coffee, hot chocolate, all that kind of stuff, some energy bar, chocolate, something nougat, what's this? Oh, I think that's my uh, stove. What do I have here? Oh, this is cheese. Some tissues. This is salmon. Energy bar. Another energy thing. And this, I guess, is my hot meal. And this is a salad. So yeah, I think the hot meal will be for tonight. So I'm gonna start it with the salad. Ah. I think it looks pretty good and I think as a soldier you can survive on this one but we'll see tomorrow after I've had it all and see if I had hungry for any time during the day because I didn't bring anything else so yeah this is what I'm gonna have today let's start with the salad it's a salad oriental I think this is going to be really tasty uh, it's beef it has some uh, lentils in there some i'll have to look it up Kiker uh yeah i think this will fill me up quite well i don't think i'll need any of the little snacks in between right now anyway cheers i wanted to try those little biscuits but there are different ones in there there are some uh, salty ones and there's like this one with chocolate so for dessert, I'm gonna have those with the chocolate. Little bit dry, but tastes pretty good. For this afternoon, I'm also going to put the mix, the drink mix, dehydration mix into my water. It's for half a liter of water. It's a mango tea taste. That's how it smells. Let's use a tissue to uh, do the dishes. Of course, leave no trace, but there is a trash can. I'm having a little break. I'm gonna have a, a cereal cookie. And I think I'm gonna try the Isostar, another cereal. 
and some chocolate. Pretty strong one. Great. So now dinner time. I'm gonna have the tortellini pulpas. But first some soup. Yeah, but we have to get warm water, hot water first. And I got this. I should be able to cook with this, but don't know what it is. Let's check it out. Okay. <laughs> now, are there instructions on how to use this? Hmm. That would be nice. Okay. I'm gonna, there are some uh, matches in there. <laughs> Even there are two pixels, but which is nice. Oh, these are water filtering tablets. So if I need to filter my water, that's what I will be able to use. But okay, I'm gonna try to cook. I'm gonna use a lighter, which is easier than matches, but I hope anyway. Maybe I should try the matches. There's too much wind. <laughs> yes, yes, it's finally working. This was definitely a bit of a challenge, so I'm gonna try to keep it running and when my water is done. I'll just put this one on so that it can start heating then. And maybe put an extra fuel on there. No, there's even a little trash bag. I will be able to put everything in there. Let me see if this is warm enough. Nice. Not sure about this meal. But at least it won't be stone cold. This is getting ready. I'm doing my dishes. This looks a little bit warm. So, let's try it. I think I'm gonna let it finish burn. And then I'll simply eat it. I think that'll be the smartest. I thought that this was going to be burned, but it's not burned at all. See? And even the bottom, it's not burned. Yeah, I'm surprised. It was an okay meal. Not perfect, but yeah, you can survive on it. For sure. I think I'm gonna need a little dessert. Maybe some crackers and cheese as well. That's typical French, you know, they also, also always have some cheese after dinner. I got some of the salty crackers and some cheese, goat cheese. See what it's like. Mm. Just to get a little taste of it. Okay. Not my favorite, but uh, with some crackers, I think it will be nice. I uh, finished my crackers and my cheese and so my dinner, my soup. I think I'm full. I'm not gonna have any dessert now, maybe later tonight. But uh, I would have liked a cup of tea, but it was a pain to light the fire. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the tea for what it is. I still have some mango tea, cold one. So I'm gonna finish that up. And then later that, I'll have to go and find myself a spot to sleep. This is my little setup for tonight, my tent. And I'm having a chocolate cookie for dessert before I'll be crawling in the tent. I read a little bit, go to sleep. And then tomorrow morning, have breakfast. Morning. 
I have decided to have breakfast in bed. Sounds good, doesn't it? So I'm going to have the muesli, but I first have to boil a little bit of water. Uh, yeah, I have to get the fire started. And if it works as well as it did last night, it might take a while. I was looking what I could have to drink. So there's hot chocolate right there. I have two tea. And there is coffee. But in here, you also have sugar. And you have pepper and salt. Not that I'm going to put that in my tea, but yeah. I've added water to my uh, chocolate muesli. So let's do the taste, taste test now, see if it's ready. I had to let it sit for about three, four minutes. Mm. Okay. It's muesli and it tastes like chocolate. Not too bad. Not my favorite, but mm. I'll definitely survive on this one. The water is uh, warm. So I'm gonna put in my tea. I think my tea is ready now. So I don't like it too strong. So yeah. Nice and hot. Well, let me give you a conclusion about this box. First of all, I think there is enough in there to survive a day, especially for me, because I have really plenty left over, which I might be eating this morning still as a little in-between snack. I have some crackers left. I have uh, the salmon still left. A little cookie. Uh, another energy bar, but it's coffee taste, so I won't be eating that. Coffee and hot chocolate is still in there. I have the jam left. And yeah, that's basically it. So not too bad. What I like about it, that there's small little things in there. Like, for example, I especially like this trash bag. Makes it easier to take it all out. Uh, the tissues were nice too, so that you could clean up your stuff. Still have to do my dishes this morning. Um, there was a, a variety of food as well. It was really quite tasty. So yeah, I think I like it. So I think our army is fed pretty good when they're out on a mission. Yep. So I think they're doing a good job. Yeah. But I guess this is it for this little video surviving 24 hours on army food i definitely survived uh, well as you can see i still have to clean up the tent before i go but then yeah it's gonna work so cheers and i'll see you on the next one and of course you can always consider subscribing giving me a like and ring the little bell that way you get a notification next time i put up a video but for now we're saying goodbye aren't we poofy oh yeah <laughs> bye <laughs> bye it's 10 o'clock and I just cycled 25 kilometers and let me put it this way I'm hungry so I'm definitely going to need some of those crackers that I had left over so I do I'm wondering like an 18 19 20 year old boy who has been out all day in the woods and maybe fighting if there would be enough food in the box but they'll definitely survive on it I'm also wondering in your home country what does a ration for the army looks like? Do you have an idea? 
let me know put it in the comments all right now i'm really going <laughs>